Hello, my name is Dr. J, PharmD, and today I want to talk about something that you've probably heard about in the news, and that's called BPA. You're probably wondering why everything in the store is BPA-free now. Well, BPA is a type of chemical that has estrogenic activity, and it's been found in animal studies to cause breast cancer. What this means for humans, we're not quite sure, but no one wants BPA in their products anymore. A couple other things I have listed up here, phthalates and triclosan. Phthalates are found in plastics, and triclosan is found in the hand soap that we use. So if you're using antibacterial hand soap, you're using this product. All these three are just three of thousands of chemicals that can cause endocrine disruption. And what that means is chemicals that disrupt our hormone system in our bodies. This can affect reproduction, um, it can affect your thyroid, your metabolism, pretty much everything in your whole body is controlled by the endocrine system. And this is becoming a pretty big problem in modern society. These chemicals are found in small amounts and everything I have listed here, from plastic baby bottles, canned food, carpeting, non-stick coating, pesticides, clothes, soap, everything. It all adds up, even in trace amounts. And I kind of look at this like the McDonald's scenario. If you have a Happy Meal once, not a big deal. But if you've seen the, the movie Super Size Me, you know what happens when you eat McDonald's for three meals a day, even for a short period of time. You gain weight, you get diabetes, and you feel like crap. So it all adds up. There's some pretty strong links to cancer, hormone problems, and even behavioral problems by ingesting these chemicals. In 2010, Kellogg's recalled 28 million boxes of cereal because a chemical was leaching from the plastic bags that the cereal was being held in. A few people got sick, didn't end up being a real big deal, but it shows you what kind of problem we can run into with chemicals and the products that we're using every day. Now before you freak out, because I did, I don't want to get cancer, overall cancer rates in the U.S. are going way down, which is kind of surprising. But maybe we're doing a good job actually eliminating some of these toxins from our environment and our products. The bad news is some types of cancer are actually increasing. Thyroid cancer, which is part of the endocrine system, your liver and your kidney, which filter everything that goes into your mouth. So what can you actually do? You can use glassware, try to avoid plastic packaging whenever possible, eat fresh food, Organic's good because it has less pesticides. There are still some natural pesticides in food that you need to be careful of. Avoid heated dry cycle whenever possible. Hand washing your plasticware is even a better idea. Get rid of your nonstick cookware. Or go ahead and join the Amish. There's a price to progress, and we're paying it now. But none of us want thyroid, liver, or kidney cancer. And one final note. Just because something says it's BPA-free, remember those thousands of chemicals that I told you of, does not mean that it's free from endocrine disruptors. BPA is just one of many problems that we're facing in these products that we're consuming every day. So my name is Dr. J, and that's been a five-minute health clip. Thanks for tuning in.